Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me It is Vlogmas Day 9. <laughs> Let me just check. I'm sure it's 9. Yes, Wednesday the 9th of December. Um, just going to make myself a nice cup of tea this morning. I'm feeling tea. Um, we have tomorrow off, the day off tomorrow together. We're having to use up holiday. So it's a weird week. I kind of feel like it's gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then it feels like Friday today. But then we're back to work on Friday. So a bit of a weird one, but a nice day off tomorrow to look forward to and that Friday feeling today. So let's get have a tea. different mug for tea than you do for coffee. I like this one which is from Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. Got the little castle on there. And this morning I am going to try my Pucker English breakfast tea from my advent calendar. So excited to try this. Just come down for a snack and I'm gonna take this um, one of these Minion Black White Supremes to Rich to enjoy because he's busy today. So we'll let you know how we get on with them. Good morning, happy Wednesday. And this week I'm making bad progress because I didn't even get down to do my morning coffee today or morning hot drink. It is now gone one o'clock and this is the first time I'm actually getting a break today. It's just absolutely insane. I don't know how many of you can relate to um, in the businesses that you work in, but the lead up to Christmas, uh, and with Brexit coming as well, it, it's just absolutely insanely busy. Um, impossible to get things done in a day, but here we are, just another day in paradise. Um, but Luke, I think he mentioned actually, bought me up my mini black and white Supreme that we got from Genevieve in the advent calendar that she sent us. As you can see, I didn't even get to eat that today. <laughs> so this will be with my lunch today. So uh, I think today I'm just gonna do myself a sandwich, watch a bit of Friends, um, a bit of comfort TV, uh, and then head back to work. So yeah, that's my day so far. Okay, I changed my mind. I tend to change my mind quite a lot when I have lunch, but um, I'm gonna go for some golden syrup Quaker oats, some nice um, porridge uh, in these cool bags, which some of you said that these are pretty standard, but I've never seen them, so they're new to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this bowl, and there's a story relate. We had two of these bowls. There is a story. There is a story. Two of these bowls. Um, they're from Disneyland Paris a few years ago. Um, the other day, I was putting this bowl, which we will name my bowl, um, in the dishwasher, and it slipped out my hand, and it smashed everywhere. So we did have two, but we're now down, down to one. So you broke my bowl, and then you, you broke and your bowl, and now you're using my bowl. Broke my bowl, and now I'm using Luke's bowl. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, that's just the way it goes. Cheekiness, cheekiness. But you know what it means? It means we have to go back to Disneyland Paris. Yes. So it's currently coming up to three o'clock. So getting ready for the virtual Christmas party at work today. So the virtual Christmas party starts at 4 p.m. Uh, it runs till six and we've got some activities. We've got a quiz. We've got um, a couple of colleagues are being DJs. Um, and yeah, just some fun chat. Um, it's good to get together and have a chat because we've not really seen each other in many months. Um, normally we get together a couple of times a year, but because of COVID obviously, those events um, and travel and things like that, it's just not been a thing. So it's really good that my company have got us all together virtually, safely, um, and also given us a voucher to get a takeaway today. So I'm literally just choosing my order now, so I thought I'd share with you what we're going for. Okay, so I have gone for Gourmet Burger Kitchen, uh, which we, we normally just say GBK, um, because they offer their food on Deliveroo. So in this area, we've got Deliveroo, Uber Eats, um, and I think Just Eat as well. Um, so like food delivery services. Uh, really good, you just order on, I'm not gonna do it on the PC where I am now, I'm gonna do it on the app, because um, I've added the voucher that my work have given me. But I'm gonna go for a classic chicken burger. Um, no relish because that will not agree with my Crohn's disease for sure. Um, so just a plain chicken burger with some salad. I've got some barbecue sauce with it. Uh, and they do like vegan options. So they do like um, classic vegan, 
Californian, the Beyond Burger with barbecue sauce. Uh, and fries wise, um, they do skinny fries or chunky skin on fries. I have gone for the chunky skin on fries, but I also do like the skinny fries, they're really good. Uh, GBK also do really good milkshakes, um, but not today, I'm just keeping it with a chicken burger and chips. Um, so I'm going to order it on the app and I've got it scheduled actually so you can order in advance so I've got it scheduled to arrive around about five o'clock so everyone's going to get their orders arriving at the same time so we can share what we've all ordered it's going to be good fun so as is tradition we're all going to be wearing our Christmas jumpers some people are dressing up some people are wearing Christmas jumpers um, but the aim is to get festive where we can so this was actually from Primark we got it a few months ago um, when we weren't i'm gonna say when we weren't in lockdown for sure um but it's uh, star wars and it's got um the child on there from the mandalorian and i just think it's very festive and a little bit different so it's not like a standard santa claus or snowman and i'm just hoping that none of my colleagues have got this as well so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna wear this one and um we'll see who the winner is what's arrived got my burger kitchen gbk nom 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 <laughs> <laughs> so this is Luke's vegan burger. It's really nicely presented. It's like something you'd see in like a promotion. Look at picture. the portion of fries. They're huge. There's so many There's fries. There's so many chips. Rich has gone for the thick cut and I've gone for the skinny. Look at that. And I've gone char grilled chicken and I did add some crispy bacon oh, as well. Look at that. Good evening. Good evening. We're back together. I'm not wearing a fancy outfit. I've got a <laughs> towel around me because it's haircut time. <laughs> haircut time. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've been, I've been going on about this all week, so I'm going to shut up now and Rich's going to cut my it hair. Sh it should have been done by now, it's <laughs> terrible. Um, but yeah, we made, we've made time for it this evening, even with a Christmas party. Yeah, did you have a nice time? It was good, yeah. It was a little bit bizarre having a Christmas party virtually, and but it was good fun. A little bit awkward at times, everyone eating their takeaway, but um, yeah, all good fun. I got to enjoy a little bit of takeaway as well. Yeah, Luke, Luke got in on the action as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, it was nice that you got to. Oh, no work tomorrow. No work tomorrow. Yes. Excited. And we have a fun mm -hmm. day planned. We do. So as fun as it can get, but it's a fun day. Mm -hmm. So let's, uh, we'll show you an after shot in a moment. So in case you were wondering, this has been our lockdown hair saviour. <laughs> Uh, this is what we've been using to cut each other's hair. Uh, to be fair, it's actually really good. Fairly inexpensive. Um, it's brand Wall. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Vogue Corded Hair Clipper. Um, it does the job. Uh, we've used it a fair few times now since, you know, when it all began back in March. Inside, we've got like a comb. We It came with like a little oil. Um, can't find it now, but it came with an oil... A little tub um, just for the um, clippers and some scissors and just lots of different attachments for all the different grades so we found it really useful um, again we didn't have to spend um, a lot on um, this in general precision blades um, 0.8 to 25 mil cutting lengths so yeah, it was it was actually really good value. So yeah, I just thought I'd share what we're using, what we have been using um, since all the lockdowns began. Also, I don't think we've actually mentioned, but um, a little while ago in Audi, we managed to find the Snowman um, kitchen towel, which you've got to remember the Snowman. It's such a childhood classic. Um, yeah, so this is uh, quite a cool design. So we found this in Audi a few weeks ago. So, had another delivery today. We from... were expecting it. <laughs> Dolce Gusto, um, direct for some more Starbucks toffee nut lattes. Can you ever have too much? And if you order four or more, you get free delivery. And it came quite quickly. It did. And there's a fifth one just in there. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> I love this season. So I feel like every day I do this one on my own. It's my turn. It's, and look at your jumper, look. I am festive today. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I'm so in the mood. <laughs> so let's have a look. So you've got number nine, bottom left. Let's hear it. Oh, I feel like we've had that one. Maybe close it and start again. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Next one. Oh, there we go. Have we had that one? Probably. <laughs> we've got to do a little zoom in. Da, 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 what chocolate did da, da, we get? We got... It's a dark one. Dark. Organic dark chocolate. Just plain dark chocolate. Oh. 
So we've been talking about Christmas ads and this year, the Christmas ad that we love the most is the TK Maxx TK one. TK Maxx, yeah, it wins. Yeah. yeah, we'll show you a little bit of it. Yes. <laughs> so, so funny. Good. Also, shout out to the Tesco's. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for this one, it's just so funny because the goat is just just the way it comes through. Makes us laugh so much. Please comment below with your favourite Christmas adverts this year. Yeah, maybe we've missed some. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this out. one. <laughs> we've just seen that on Channel Four tonight is Christmas in New York. Inside the plaza, so we may well watch. Hello everyone. Good evening. The hair is done. Hey. Sure hair. <laughs> so, we wonder why, like, hairdressers are open again, but we started cutting our own hair in March. Yeah. And it isn't great, but I just don't feel comfortable going in the hairdressers at the minute, because it's obviously very close proximity. So it's something that we're continuing to do, so... And you know what, we've got a perfectly good set of clippers out there, so... Um, <laughs> we're doing and they right. seem to be doing alright, I it mean... It could be better. It could be better, of course, we're not professionals, there are people out there that are trained <laughs> to do it, but we're getting on alright. <laughs> yeah, and we were just laughing because, um, I don't know if anyone's seen this viral thing from Nigella Lawson, the way she says microwave, I'll play it. A bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the microwave. The microwave. <laughs> microwave. <laughs> so it went viral. She did tweet about it today. So it's Nigella Lawson. Um, it was just a play on words. It was so just a little funny. joke, but it is very funny. It yeah. is. We were so laughing so much. Yeah. I like watching Nigella anyway because it's just <laughs> she's just so posh, flamboyant, and posh. Yeah. <laughs> so you had a good yeah. Christmas party. Good Christmas party. Yeah. I'm just absolutely knackered. Yeah. Like, I'm so, so tired. So um, we're going to have lots to talk about at work tomorrow, for sure. It's a yeah. very strange but fun Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mine on Friday, also virtual. So let's kick off with the Disney quiz. Disney quiz. I'm going to pass the quiz to Luke, my trusty so assistant. We're on day nine already. I cannot day believe it's the 10th double digits tomorrow already. I know. So day nine, the question was... Um, was it day eight yesterday? Day eight yesterday. Day eight yesterday, yeah. Um, so the question was, mm, 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 what were Mickey's first words on film? Oh. Did you know the answer? Hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog. So a lot of you got it right, so yeah. well done. And everyone wants hot dogs now. Yeah, it's that season, isn't it, for yeah. hot dogs. <laughs> um, so a few um, comments to read out. So we've got Tasha of Asgard. Was it hot dogs? It was. I had to ask my partner, does that count as cheating? No, no, you're, you're good. <laughs> um, I have really been looking forward to these vlogs because you both radiate positivity. Oh, thank you. I thank also you. feel like every time Luke makes a drink, it's made with so much love. There, I do. <laughs> I mean, my, I, I should. I would love to have worked in Starbucks because I just love making coffee. That's been your, that would have been your calling. That would have been my calling. Yeah. Um, Matthew Elms, hot dogs. I think you are right. Uh, me and my daughter loving watching Vlogmas together. Oh, how sweet. You guys are now our Christmas tradition. Thank you. Keep the vlogs coming. Oh, thank you so much, Matthew. Um, and hi to your daughter as well. Uh, Candice Rogowski. Hi, I think it was hot dogs. I am loving Vlogmas. It's the best thing to start my day. Love from Regina in Canada. Oh, lovely. I must say, like, you think it would be oh, maybe oh boy. You're like, oh boy. A few of you did comment oh boy. Yeah, because that's kind of what the first signature. comes to mind. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've had some lovely e oh we're going to do the next question sorry question we'll do the next question question nine question nine so let's see Rich hasn't been very good at writing them out <laughs> they're, so on they're on his phone they're on his phone and also because like you, <laughs> you can probably see my phone like shining in my so face so Rich needs to write them out I do it needs to be much <laughs> it needs better needs to be authentic it needs to be much better um, so question nine thanks for that <laughs> um, what is Flynn Rider's real name in Tangled oh do you know the answer yes oh I'm not going to say it, but I do know that one. <laughs> okay, I do know. Do you that know one. what? I'm going to get. I'm going. When we're off camera, I'm going to check that he yeah, knows the answer. Do. So, question is: What is Flynn Rider's real name in Tangled? So, comment below, guys. Comment below. Yeah. Uh, just some more emails today. Some really lovely messages. Um, some of them have been really personal, um, which I know we won't read out. But I just want to say thank you for sending us such personal messages. Big thank you. Yeah. Um, firstly, from Kimberly Matthews, Kim. Um, obviously, you've had some great news recently about your health, um, so that's really great. So thank you so much for watching. Um, Kaylee, and please accept my apologies, Sazan Sananvet. I do hope I've said that right. 
Um, you sent us a really lovely message and I won't read it out, but obviously it was very personal. Um, but thank you for sharing and, and emailing us. It was really nice. We also had some Christmas trees. So we had Merry Christmas from Houston, Texas, Devita. Um, and sent some lovely pictures through. I want to go to Texas. Really yeah, badly, Texas. Yeah. I just want to see if everything is... I've only ever been to um, Houston. I think I went to Houston Airport or Dallas Airport on a layover, but never left the airport. Doesn't count. But I remember <laughs> seeing someone in a cowboy hat and I was like, I'm really in Texas. We time. need to actually go yeah, <laughs> together, not just you on your own. <laughs> a lovely email from Stephanie Embrick, um, who lives on Amelia Island in Florida. Sounds very which sounds nice. lovely yeah. um, and your Christmas tree looks so beautiful it's really beautiful yeah um, I feel like everyone's done so well on their Christmas trees this year so much effort has gone in yeah and one last one there are more obviously I just appreciate them so much James Hewitt um, currently off recovering from Covid and it sounds like you're through the worst of it so get well soon I hope you make a full recovery yeah also a big thank you to everyone who sends us messages on Instagram Twitter Facebook um, we do love reading them all. You're all um, so lovely. <laughs> you're all so lovely, so thank you so much. Thank you. And then the Genevieve one today is day nine. Day nine. And the quiz is, a character breakfast just wouldn't be complete without them. Just don't eat these. Okay, so it's not edible. <laughs> but you'd have it on a character breakfast. So that's interesting. It's so difficult. Do you know, I can, and we're going to do tea in a minute, but I can... I keep getting whiffs of my tea calendar. You've got one on you, you're there. I've got a tea uh, <laughs> accessory. Right. Um, while Rich is opening that, I can do, I can show you my tea for the day. T tea nine. Um, the breakfast tea was really nice. I do like these. Um, I was talking to one of my friends last night about pucker tea. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> um, today is number nine, and it is black currant beauty, organic. Let's smell that. Smells nice. It smells nice, yeah. Deliciously it deep. It smells like curry. <laughs> no, purple fruits to help you glow inside and out. So that sounds like a really nice one. So what did you find? Yeah, oh wow, what are these? They are Mickey Waffles, but are they Mickey Waffles? Oh wow. Here they are. So these are Mickey Suds and Scrubs. Is it a small shop? Yeah, it's a small shop. Mickey's Suds and Scrubs. And it's a Mickey's Maple Waffle Soap. So they're little Mickey Waffle Soaps. They are so cute. Yeah, so that it comes oh. from, um, so the, yeah, the company name is Mickey's Suds and Scrubs. Uh, they have an Etsy shop, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, so looking forward to trying those. Yeah, I definitely would. They, they would like to eat them. They, they look do really look edible. edible. <laughs> but the, the bow as well is really nice. So, thank you so much, Genevieve. Thank you we'll so check much. Out that shop. Now I get the clue. Yes. <laughs> Don't eat it. Don't eat it, yeah. Um, and the tea advent calendar, can't be forgetting so about let's that. Let's see what Rich gets yeah. today. We are number nine, right? Yeah. Number nine. Here we we had a, a knock on the door just a minute ago and it was Amazon. What a surprise. And Rich was like, when did you order this? I was like, I ordered it this morning. I just, I don't know about you guys, but I still can't get over same day deliveries. Yeah. Like, we needed some cat food. We ordered it. This is more cat food. So Willow and Socks have certain cat food from Pets at Home, which is the Sheba, and then we tend to get their Lily's Kitchen from Amazon because it's cheaper. And literally ordered it this morning and it turns up this evening. But does anyone get Amazon parcels and then think, I don't even know what I've ordered. Like, <laughs> yeah. what is this that's just arrived? It's just so easy. Um, yeah, today on the advent calendar is Earl Grey. So ah, that is very classic. simple. It's just Earl Grey classic Fortnum and Masons. I'm sure it's really, really nice. It's nice. Yeah. Good, so we mentioned before that we have tomorrow off work. We have a really exciting day planned. We do. Um, I am actually really excited, so we're not gonna tell you. We'll no, we have to tomorrow. Just stay tuned in for tomorrow's vlog, yeah. I would say follow us on Instagram because there's no doubt we'll be doing some Insta <laughs> stories tomorrow. Yeah. Um, socially distanced and safe, of course. Always. But um, then we're back to work Friday and then we have some fun stuff planned uh, in next week as well. Oh yeah. Big Big stuff coming next week, yeah. The one thing I really want to do right now is I want to drive to some Christmas lights. So I, I know that there's no big displays of Christmas lights really this year as normal, mm -hmm. but it seems a lot of people have gone all out around their houses. So we're thinking we might just go for a little drive locally and just try and see some festive lights. I feel like, yeah, I've not seen enough festive lights, so it's, it's a must. Yeah. yeah. So have a lovely evening, and if you're watching this in the morning, have a nice day. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close.
forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be Making our Christmas memories